Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, how's it going, guys? How's it going? It's good? Yeah. You had a good day? Yes, and you? Me too, me too. I had a nice class in the morning, in-person class. So it's it's pretty uh, fun and interesting. Um, hey, welcome. I can see Samuel, Patricia, Jancy, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you for being in the class. Thank you for your punctuality. So what's new? What's new with you, huh? What's new? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Miss Melendez, there. what's new? No, <laughs> nothing. Nothing new? Uh, nothing much? Um. Really? Is the same story than yesterday and the day before and the day before? Um, no, no, no. Mira pa me. Vení. Not exactly the same, huh? But similar. No. Huh? Well, I have a new way. Yo me acordé. How can I say in English that? Um, tomorrow, my brother is gonna graduate Así se dice. Uh -huh. your brother is going to graduate uh, high school yeah. no in the U university what really what is he studying mathematics mathematics so now he's gonna be a math teacher yeah wow oh, congratulations so yeah. teaching huh teaching do you like that field, teaching, the teaching field? Do you like that? Oh? <laughs> teaching, teaching is, is a nice Thank area. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a nice um, field. I like teaching, but I don't know about him. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Great. Congratulations. So you're going to have like a sort of a celebration, huh? Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Tell him congratulations. He's my colleague. He's a teacher. I'm a teacher, so <laughs> we're colleagues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank All you. All right. All right. Welcome, everyone. What's new, Samuel? What's new with you, Sam? What's new, sir? Uh, good evening, teacher. What's up? Uh, mm -hmm. I have, I have what match the selector. Oh, you have watched the, 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 the selectors match? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Did it, so it finished? Did it finish? Yeah, finished. So what's the score? <laughs> For one losses. It's a loss. loss. Okay, it's loss. a loss. Four it's one. Loss. And this was against Peru. Yes. yes Peru. Wow, that's bad, huh? But that's a bad loss. That's a very bad loss. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, let me welcome. Let me welcome also Patricia Salazar. Hello, Ms. Patricia. How's it going tonight? Uh, watching the... Is the Partido de la Selecta, perdón. Oh, you, you were watching the Selectas game? Yes. I should say I was watching. I was, I was watching. watching 
the selectas the game. The selectas game. Nice, nice. Did you like it? Did you like it? Um, yes. It's good, huh? It's yes, fun. Sí. Too many goals against us, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> That's what we have. Welcome, everyone. Mr. Carlos, what's new with you, Mr. Portillo? What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Yes. Okay, Mr. Portillo, thank you for the information. Um, what about you, Sandra? How's it going, Miss Campos? Are you ready for the class? Anything new going on, huh? Hi, good evening. Um, I don't do anything new. Um, only... Um, it's um okay. routines the same routine yes i did i did the same routine i Repeat. did the same routines the same routine as every day same old thing right nothing new okay miss no problem but you are healthy you are healthy correct yes <laughs> you're healthy that's priority okay welcome everyone to the class we're going to continue practicing the present perfect okay i'm going to share with you a little video about it confirm please if you're so kind one friend used to say if you're if you're kind enough Please confirm if you can visualize my screen. Can you? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I can get your faces here. Awesome. Ahora sí me dio la opción. I love it. I love it. Let's start with the video. We're going to keep talking about present perfect um don't forget the structure right subject have or has right and the past participle verb hi in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow listen and practice final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, okay, we're gonna go back. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verb. Okay, this is really important. This is for you to perfection your pronunciation as far as simple past the final t, t, t sound and and the d, d, d sound in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them as you may see for example cook cook c-o-o-k the simple past will be of course written with ed but pronounced with Cooked, cooked. So we will link it with it. Lo vamos a unir ahí, okay? Cooked it. Yes, I have already cooked it. Verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked, cooked it. Yeah, okay. And um, 
also the D sound. For example, try the simple pass with, um, you know, I, E, D. And the pronunciation will be D. I tried. I tried that. I tried that. Simple past. Repeat. I tried it once in Miami. I tried it. I tried it once in Miami. Have you ever tried it? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. I tried it once in Miami. Have you cooked? Repeat. Have you cooked lunch yet? 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 Yes, I've already cooked it. Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I've I've tried it. I tried it once in Miami. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Excellent, excellent. So see, see, uh, this is just a uh, ways for you to perfection your pronunciation. Let's try to use questions with "Have you cooked?" Yes, have you cooked? in have you ever tried remember tried is is the same than eaten is the same than have so siempre se relaciona ahí con la comida right have you ever tried cuban food so i'm gonna start the conversation i'm gonna ask a question to let's see let me start with miss campos this time hey, miss campos have you have you cooked dinner yet? Yes, I already cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked yes. It. Cooked it. Yes. I already, I've already cooked it. Yes, I already cooked it. It's kind of tricky pronunciation but practice makes perfect right you can also make a question with have you ever tried that's like have you ever tasted have you ever eaten it's the same it's the same uh, for example have you ever tried um, a shrimp cocktail no yes Yes, teacher. I have tried a shrimp cocktail and it's very delicious. Y ahí me puso el it, miss. I have tried a shrimp cocktail. Okay, lo que pasa es que el it sustituye al shrimp cocktail. Entonces, por eso es que yo quiero que me use el it. El it va a estar sustituyendo al shrimp cocktail. So you don't need to repeat shrimp cocktail. Porque usted está diciendo, I tried it. Can you repeat? I have tried it. Yes, I have tried it. Where? When? Who with? Additional info. <laughs> Um, Ahí podemos we, mezclar con simple past. Por ejemplo, when I visited my mother, right? When I was in our Japan city. Yeah. I tried it. I tried it the last week when we went to the beach with my family. Outstanding, thank you. It's your turn. Make a question with have you cooked or have you ever tried? Make a question, Miss Sun, no, Miss um, Jancy. Go ahead, Miss Jancy. Make a question for the class. Have you ever cooked? Have you ever tried? Only one question. 
Solo con esos verbos. Right now, yes. Okay. Um, have you ever cooked Korean food? Hmm. Have you ever cooked Korean food? What about you, uh, Natalie? What about you, um, Marbelli? Okay, how about you? Um, tell me, Marbelli, have you ever cooked Korean food? No. Uh-huh. No, I, I cook. Ok, ahí vamos a usar el negativo have not, contractado haven't, ok. No, I haven't cooked it. No, uh, I no. haven't cooked it. No, I haven't cooked it. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Um, can you make a question using have you cooked or have you ever tried? Let's go, uh, Samuel. Make a question for the class. Have you ever tried Mediterranean food? Mediterranean food? Okay. Have you guys? Mediterranean food. No, I haven't. I never tried it. Oh, all right, you never tried it. Excellent, excellent. Somebody else? No more? No. Okay. Okay. Have you ever cooked chicken soup? Yes, I have cooked it. Cooked it several times. Mm. When I when I ate chicken for the I'm first vegetarian. time, huh? No, I'm veggie. Oh, okay. Mm. You're vegetarian. Mm. You only do veggies. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, can you make a question using have you cooked or have you ever tried? Go ahead, Carlos. How you cook tacos de birre? Tacos de birre. Tacos de birria. What's yes. that? What's that, brother? Is it a uh, special meat or something like that? No, uh, uh, son tacos, pero bañados en birria. Birria es como el consomé de res. Oh my goodness. I don't understand that, that type of Spanish. <laughs> That's advanced Spanish for me. <laughs> have you ever tried that? Oh, have you ever cooked? He's there. Have sí, you ever cook. cooked that, guys? Have you ever cooked that? No, it sounds interesting, but I have never cooked that. Cooked that. Okay. What about you guys? Come on, answer. Sandra, what about you? Have you no. ever? No, I haven't. I I never cooked it. You never cooked cooked it. Cooked it. 
You never cooked, cooked it? it? Okay. Cooked it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it will be a new a new receipt, a new receipt in your house now. <laughs> All right. Uh Sandra, could you make a question using have you cooked or have you ever tried? Have you ever tried um Italian food? Mm, definitely. Have you ever tried Italian food? Go ahead. No, I haven't. You haven't? Yes, I have. You say, I haven't tried it. Repeat, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Okay, somebody else, Jancy, is that what you, was you? Yes, I have, and I love Italian You love the Oh, Italian like food. Pasta. Wait, Italian food is like pastas. Yeah. It's a combination of pasta with uh, meat and, you know, maybe mm -hmm. a little a little veggies here and there. Um, It's nice. It's really yummy, yummy. Honestly, I really like it. Uh, um, I don't have a favorite between Ita Italian food and um and Chinese food. You know, it, it's it's both are my favorite. I have a dilemma right there. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Let's continue. Now I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it. Okay. We're going to practice using the following questions. What is the first question? Let's go with the first question. Emma, can you help us? What is the first question for the class? I connect down the teacher. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, what about Elizabeth? Are you there, Ellie? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, first question, have you ever cut your hair? Have you ever cut your hair? This is an interesting question. Have you, Elizabeth? Uh, yes, I have cut it. <laughs> really? You're yeah. speaking about myself. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh huh. Yes, I am. Yes, I have. When I was shy. When I was, uh huh. When I was shy. You say yes, I yes I have. When I was a child. Uh, okay. What about you? What about you, Sandra? Mm, I don't hear the question. <laughs> you don't you don't hear the question. Okay. Okay, repeat the question, Elizabeth, for the class. Okay. Have you ever cut your hair hair? Have mm. you ever cut your hair? Yes. Um I cut I cut my hair. Um, each three months. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you say el it in vez de hair? ¿Cómo quedaría? I cut it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Each th three months. Uh -huh. Each three months, or or it's more common to say every. Every three months, yeah. Okay. Every three months, I got it. I got it. How about you, uh, Sam? Have you have you ever cut your hair? Samuel. No, I haven't cut it. Correct. Repeat. No, I haven't cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Correct. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Let's go to the next question. Can you help us with the next question? Emma, can you hear us? Emma, can you try? Hello? Can you yeah, remember that we're trying to use we're trying to use it. 
For example, here the question was, have you ever cut your hair? The answer is yes, I've cut it. Repeat, yes, I've cut it. Yes, I yes, cut. I cut it. Or or no, I haven't I haven't cut it. No, I haven't cut it. How about you, Emma? Have you ever cut your hair? Honestly, honestly speaking, I mean, it happens, right? Maybe when you were a child. Yes, I have cut my hair when I was a child. Okay, solo que ahí, como estamos diciendo, el it, ya no necesito decir esto, ¿verdad? Hair. Uh, uh -huh, okay. Sería, yes, yes, I, I have cut, cut it. it. When I, was. I it when I was a child. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Entonces, esta es la función de este it. Ok, sustituye uh -huh. al noun. Ok, so, ese es el objetivo okay. ahorita, que estamos tratando de usar este it para unirlo con el verbo. Link the, the, this, this it with the verb in past participle. Ok, okay. let's go with the next okay. question. Let's go with the next question. Eh, Sara Molina, can you help us, Sara? Here. Question. Uh huh. Um, have you ever tasted? What is this type of cheese? Tasted. Uh -huh. Taste, tasted. How how you ever tasted goat cheese? You know, do you know what is goat cheese? Queso de cabra. Yes. Queso de cabra. Mm, um, yummy, yummy with the toasted tortilla. Bomb. That's the perfect dinner, Emma. What's up? No. <laughs> I have. I haven't. Have you have you ever tasted? No, I haven't. You no, have... no, I no, have but... never tasted, and it... I don't want to taste. <laughs> but pero díganme, díganme lo usando el it. Uh -huh. no, have you ever I tasted? Haven't... No, I have tasted it. It. No, I haven't. Y aquí sería tasted it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Porque lo estamos linking. Linking es uniéndolos. Taste it. Así. Repeat. Yes, I've tasted. Yes, yes I've. I taste, y aquí sería taste. Taste. Taste it. Taste tasted it. it. Repeat. Tasted yes, it. yes, I've yes. tasted it. Yes, I've tasted it. Yes, I've tasted it. Okay. Or no, I haven't tasted it. No, I haven't, no, I haven't tasted it. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Um, Emma, please, repeat the question. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Goat. 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 Uh -huh. goat. Uh -huh. Have you ever tasted goat cheese, guys? How about you, Carlos? No, I haven't tasted it. Would you like to? Mm, maybe 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 you know it's an invitation you know what about you Jans yeah. have you Jancy no I have never tasted it and I don't want to I are you sure like. are you sure because sometimes we say oh, I, I may not like this until you really taste it and you say, mm, wow, it's delicious. But it's a goat. <laughs> Only imagine. <laughs> no. I mean, okay, okay, okay. What about what about you, Marbelli? What about you, Patricia Salazar? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Goat cheese with borracho beans and toasted tortilla. Mm -hmm. No. What about you, Natalie? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Okay. 
Let's go over the next question. Jessica, help us with the next question, please. Prepare your answers. Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you, Miss Castro? Yes, I tried it. Really? Um, yes. Was that sushi? Yes, but I don't like it. Sushi is Korean, isn't it? Yes, but sushi, I don't like it. You don't like sushi? No. Okay, but the Korean food you tasted, it, it was different, correct? It was yes. good? So-so. Uh, So-so. You don't really like it so much? No. Okay. You prefer, do you prefer Salvadorian food? Yes. I of like course. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Jessica, make the question to one participant about Korean food. Uh, the same question? Yes, please. Try have to use ever, it, guys. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I tried it. Really? How was the experience? Um, I don't like very much because uh, the food not not have salt. The, the the food doesn't have doesn't have salt. Really? Doesn't have salt. It's not salty. So you need to you need to put it you need to put it yes. yourself. Uh, it's kind of simple, huh? It's kind of simple. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. No flavor, uh huh? Okay, okay, okay. So you don't like it, like like to eat it like every day, no? Not for every day. No. <laughs> okay, only in the special locations. What about what about what about you guys? What about you, Samuel? Have you ever tried Korean food? No, I haven't tried it. You haven't tried it? You don't like to experience exotic, exotic uh, new foods? No? Yes, no? no? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe, huh? Okay. What about, what about you, Patricia Salazar? Have you tasted or tried mm -hmm. Korean food? No, I haven't tried it. You haven't tried it? No. Try it. It's good. Try <laughs> the sushi, right, Jessica? No. <laughs> she needs to try sushi. I don't recommend you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, some people like it, though. Some people like it. I would like to try it. You but... would like to try. Okay, you should. You should try. You should try. Let's go over to the next question. The next question is going to be read by Miss Sandra Campos. Have you brought your dictionary today? Hmm? Have you brought? Bring, okay. brought. Have you Have brought you your brought... dictionary? No, I haven't brought it. Excellent. No, I haven't brought it brought it have you brought your dictionary today guys answer 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 have you brought a ver emma como nos puedes interpretar esta pregunta have you brought your dictionary today um Al principio pensé que estaba mal escrito. Tuve que mm. googlearlo. Ah, ok, Porque ok. Pensé que era si había comprado el diccionario, comprarse un diccionario. Pero después vi que no, que ese es otro verbo. Entonces, Se como... parece. Ajá, pensé que era un error, pero no. Sin la... Es como trajiste tu diccionario. Algo Correcto. Así. Este estaba con buy, bought. 
Ok, box, que ajá. es bien similar, se escribe bien similar. Solo Entonces, una letra lleva de más, creo. Es correcto, <ríe> Emma. Buena observación, buen catch. Good job, Jancy. So, have you brought your dictionary today? Have you brought your dictionary today? I got some answers. Uh -huh. Answer. Yes, I have. Oh, my yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, yes, I have brought it. Okay, yes, I brought it. Okay, I have brought it today. It's on your cell phone. That, that's not fair. That's not fair. It's, that's all. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, technology, whatever. Okay. Technology teacher. Don't be old-fashioned teacher. <laughs> okay, what about you, Samuel? Have you brought your dictionary? Yes, I brought it. Let me see, let me see. Yes, I brought it. Let me see, let me see. Show me, show me. Where, where is it? Yes, I brought it. <laughs> you don't follow me. Okay, okay, okay. It's correct. Actually, nowadays, we no longer use dictionaries, right? Because of what Jancy said. The cell phone is more convenient. It's a smartphone, so you can get a dictionary online. Yeah. But you know, you know, sometimes it's good to continue with some old traditions like, like the dictionary, the physic, the in-paper dictionary. It's a good idea to have it. It's not a bad idea. Okay? So you can think about that. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next question. Next question is going to be read by Samuel. Go ahead. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Latest. Latest. Have o sea, you el, más, latest? el más reciente, el, el más calientito, el más nuevo. Latest. ¿Y este verbo cómo sería? Porque me dijo, ¿cómo? Oh, Read. Read. Wait, wait. Read is in simple present, but this is not simple present. This is present perfect. Read. Read. Se pronuncia exactly like the color. Red. Exactly like the color red. Simple Read. present, Read. Read. Simple past, Red. 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 Past participle, Red. 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 So it's Red. Read. Red. 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 Read. Read. Have you Red. read? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Repeat some no. more. Have you read? 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 No, I haven't read. I haven't read. Good job, Sandra. Good job, Jan Seeking Mass. Have you read? I have read. I'm sorry, Carlos. Yes, I have read. Yes. I've, pones el verbo acá, read it. Yes, yes, I read it. I've read it. Correct. Repeat. I've read it. I read it. Yo lo he leído. Eso es. Ah, mm -hmm. yes, I have read it. What about you, Jessica? Have you? No, have you read it? I haven't. No, I haven't read it. You haven't read it? No. Do you do you like reading? Yes. Yes. I like, but only in English. <laughs> Me too. In Spanish is boring. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Excellent. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Uniendo ahí los sonidos con el el past participle verb. In your excellent. responses, pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay. 
What? Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is this. I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you a link and you're going to select one question. Okay, you're going to select a question so you can practice with your classmates. Okay. Let me let me share this link with you. Um, you can use these questions or uh, you can make your own questions, okay? Can you tell me if you can open the link? Can you open the link? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. There you can see a few funny questions, let's say. Um, so I want you to choose one and I want you to choose one of your classmates and I want you to interview him or her using present perfect. Tell me when you're ready. Can you repeat? Sure. Actually, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. First, I'm going to observe the questions. I'm going to pick one question up. For example, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, fed an animal, fed an animal, fed an animal. My question is for Jessica Castro. Excuse me, Jessica. Have you ever fed an animal? Uh, yes, I have fed it. Many times, huh? Many times. Yes, yes. I imagine you have different pets or you have had different pets all your life. Good job. Good job, Miss. Okay, choose or make a different question and make it to one of your classmates. Okay. And remember to say, excuse me, and you say the name of the person. Excuse me, Sandra, Amelia. Have Perfect. You, uh, have you ever lied to your parents? Yes, I lied it. Bueno, ahí en ese caso sería, yes, I lied, I've lied to them. Yes, yes, I've lied to them. I've lied to them. It's a it's a white it's a white lie, huh? It's a white lie, Sandra. White lie. <laughs> white like the color, white lie. <laughs> white lie is like an innocent, it's like an innocent lie. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sandra. You continue. Choose or pick up one person and pick up a big team to practice with. Uh, have you ever been to a dessert? Desert. Desert. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to a desert? Have you ever um, been to a desert? Tania Pamela? Tania? Uh -huh. Tania, have you ever been to a desert? Se me fue. <laughs> Are you there, Tania? Montoya, hello. Hello, mister. Es que tengo problemas con el inter, se me va la señal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem, miss. 
Thank you for being in the class. Can you choose one different victim or participant? <laughs> Miss Sandy. Um, okay, Dancy. <laughs> okay. No, I have never been it. It will make me desperate. Desperate. Yes. Desperate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like like for example, the immigrants, right? The immigrants face this type of environment when they go in the caravanas, right? So that is something you don't want to see, something you don't want to be at, right? Thank you. Let's go, Miss Jans. Make the next question, please. Okay. The question to Emma. Have you ever sung at night? Have you ever sung at night? <laughs> and who is the question to? To Emma. Emma, have you ever sung at night? Song? Song at night? At night? Like, uh, is the principle of sing? Mm, yes, I sang, sang it. I've sung at night. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I'm in the karaoke bar, huh, Miss Emma? In the karaoke bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in your bedroom by myself. Repeat exactly. by myself. By myself in my bedroom. <laughs> by myself. That's it. No, no more. No, nothing else than that. Okay, Miss Emma, make a question. Make a funny question using present perfect to one of your classmates. Okay, let me see. Um, To Jose Samuel. Good, good victim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever um, date a teacher? Okay, the simple past, the past participle is going to be dated. Repeat dated. the question. Have you ever dated a teacher? Uh oh, honestly, honestly, right? Because remember that there are teachers, females teachers that are very beautiful, right? So, who knows? Do you understand? No, 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 no. Ah, antes que nada eso, vamos a vamos a este verbo date. No puede ser solamente fecha. Acuérdense que hay palabras que tienen más de un significado. Entonces, date es fecha, pero, pero también puede ser como, como, como cita. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I have a date. ¿Ah? I have a date today. After the English class. Ah, tengo una cita. I have a date. Y si usted dice, I am dating. ¿Qué está diciendo? I am dating. Yo estoy... Saliendo. Saliendo con alguien. I am dating someone. Entonces, dated es el pasado ya. Y eso se tomaría como un verbo regular. Entonces, en este caso, si has tenido una relación, si has salido ya en son de relationship, eso quiere decir date, dated. Can you repeat the question one more time? Have you ever dated a teacher? No, I haven't dated. I haven't dated. Honestly, honestly. Honestly speaking, I haven't dated. Dated. I, I honestly. I honestly haven't dated a teacher. Uh, you know, it's some they say some students have that fantasy of dating their teacher but that happens when you are children right when you are children when you are uh, teenagers maybe 
Okay, Samuel, make a question. Samuel, don't worry, Samuel. Make a question. <laughs> Make a funny question, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Jessica is great. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen a wolf? Have you ever seen, seen. Lips, seen. lips open? Okay. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a, a ghost? <gasps> yes. Yes, I have seen it. Puedo usar ahí el puedo usar el it ahí, miss. Uh, sí, verdad? Yes, sí, it's a ghost. Usar? Yes, I have seen it. Yes, Repeat. I have seen it. Sí, yes, lo he visto. I have seen it. Repeat. Yes, I have seen it. Yes, I have seen it. Porque estamos, estamos linking el verbo seen con it, que representa el fantasma. Yes, I have seen it. Yes, I have seen it. Really, Jessica? Tell me about it, Jessica. Yes, um... One time in the afternoon, I was walking to the gate and in the house. A... Uh -huh. We have a door that is to the garden. Uh -huh. When suddenly passed a man in a white cloak. When I turned, turning, up, turning to see it, uh -huh. they don't have it. It disappeared. Yes, disappeared. Oh my God! And 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 you freaked like ah, you got scared uh, a little. So so, so a so. little. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. I think I think I have. I think I have. <laughs> okay. Interesting question. Interesting question, Miss Jessica. Is your turn one more time, Miss? Use your English. Go ahead. Tanya, Miss Tanya, have you ever talked to yourself? <laughs> That's a good one. Have you ever talked? Talked to yourself? Uh... Can you can you hear Tanya? Can you hear? No, I I think Miss Montoya has some audio issues. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss Marbelli, have you, you ever talked to yourself? Miss Marbelli. Okay. Yes, I have talked myself. You have talked to, talked to, talk to, talk to myself. So you have talked to yourself, really, Miss? Yes. How? How, Miss? How? Can you explain? I'm like a little curious. Forgive me. I'm a little curious. How, how that happened, Miss? Huh? Hey, it automatically happens sometimes, huh? Verdad que sí, chicos. A veces automáticamente, automatically, it automatically happens sometimes. You go like, ah, where did I put the keys? No, I remember I put the keys over here. And, and my father told me, ah, uh, she told me, oh, he told me to buy this. And, okay, you start talking to yourself, huh? It's true? Does it happen to you? <laughs> yes. Yes. So have you ever talked to yourself? Yes. Yes, I have. You have? Yes, I have. 
<laughs> Can you explain, Jansi? What? Can you explain? About what? <laughs> I don't understand. That you have talked to yourself. You ah, said yes. yes, I have. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Almost every day. <laughs> Almost every day you talk to yourself. <laughs> All right. Good job. ¿Quién hizo esa? Vamos a ver. Entonces, Carlos, haznos otra pregunta ahí, Carlos. Ya casi para terminar. Eh, Jancy. Have you ever danced in the street? No, no, I have never danced in yes, the street. Yes, remember. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> or maybe when I was a child, when I was in, the, in, in September. Yeah. In the parades, yeah, in the parades when you were marching. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So you were like, huh? Dancing in the street? Remember, I told you. <laughs> maybe, I don't remember. So. <laughs> so you say, maybe I have. <laughs> maybe I have. What about you, Sandra? Have you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> say, say I don't our... remember but <laughs> you had you were a cheerleader when you were when you were you know younger when you were a little girl right because that is that is classic in the Salvadorian families uh, if you're a girl you have to be a cheerleader on the desfile on the parades yeah on the independence parades so you have to be you have to remember that. Or you have to have pictures also. You have to have pictures. No, I don't have. <laughs> you don't have. Okay, what about Miss Elizabeth? Can you make a question using present perfect? You can make a funny question for the class or a random question. Okay. I, uh, for Carlos. Your question is for Carlos. All right, yes, Mr. Portillo is falling sleepy. Let's uh, make it work. Make it work. Okay. Have you ever fallen in love with your neighbor? With your neighbor. With your neighbor? Uh huh. Neighborhood is the place, okay. is the area. Uh huh. Can you repeat the question, Carlos? Pay attention, Carlos, and be honest. Yes, be honest. Pay attention, Carlos. Have you ever fallen in love with your neighbor? Uh, what is this uh, neighbor? Neighbor. Um, vecino, vecina. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Uh, hi, Miss Lupita, Miss Miss Maria. What's the name? Huh? The neighbor? No. Really. Really, really. Some people have good neighbors. Acuérdense que neighbor puede ser uh, vecino, puede ser prójimo también. So uh, you have to be nice to your neighbors. So you have never fallen in love with your neighbors, huh, Carlos? You don't Man. have, you don't have beautiful neighbors over there. Mm, eh, ya están mayores. <laughs> But they are, they are older. They are older than you. Ah, how old are you, Carlos? Te vamos a ayudar ahí. How old are you? Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two years old. You're very young, my friend. Don't worry. You better study like you're doing right now. You are doing great. You guys had an amazing have have you have have a complete hour of class based on present perfect. I want to congratulate you for your participation in well, I guess I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Good night, teacher. 
Enjoy the weather. Yeah. Rainy yeah. night. Enjoy the freshy and rainy night. Listen some music in English, romantic especially, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, you too. Bye. Be safe. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.